Last night on Friday, we got to see a gameplay of Bakugan Champions of Vestroya for the Nintendo Switch. This is cool. However, I have concerns from what we saw from the gameplay. Although it does have the basic map, and it looks like it's going to be a sandbox, it seems solid enough. However, ugh, just wait until you get to see the gameplay. From here, the sandbox and map area looks really fine, and not only that, it's a straight JRPG. Even though Bakugan does not want to release the... but doesn't want to release the Japanese text, the, the Japanese sub, but that's a different story. But within this game, you get to meet different characters who are from the character that you create. Like, maybe characters from this game you'll get to meet from uh, the awesome ones, uh, not just um, not just uh, Kus Cusco, but from the previous anime as well. The item, the uh, the main menu for this game looks pretty decent, and in the center you get to see yourself there. And yeah, even Dan Cusco makes him makes himself an appearance in this, which is gonna be the base game of this game. It's going to be based on the anime. And, uh, well, here's the problem. He's going to, when you meet Dan, he's going to tell you that uh, from the cores that you're supposed to collect from the TCG game, these are going to be the set items that you're going to th throw onto your Bakugan that you collect. Uh, within these, you can get different abilities as you level up from the different factions. Uh, Pyrus, Aquas, Ventus, Chaos, Darkus, and I believe uh, Aurelis is going to be in it as well. Uh, each Bakugan has their basic stat. Like right here, you can see Dragonoid. And every time that you, the more you use them, uh, they get more points within their evolution. And the the models for this for this game for the Bakugan that you find throughout the um, the sandbox area and map is definitely really really nice looking. And uh, just like the TCG, you can have a set of three uh, Bakugan that have their own different abilities, uh, from being attack to defensive to uh, agility and ability boosters. Now, this is when we get to the gameplay. Uh, I know I'm using stills, but just just look at this. I mean, it, it's, the models look okay, but then the gameplay. They just stand there while you, the character, run around, just like in the anime, throw the cores to gain buffs to your Bakugan. That's it. Like, th that's... This isn't good. This is really, really not good when it comes to gameplay when you want to express yourself for having fun with a Bakugan game. And I want to have a great Bakugan game. The problem is, is that when your app, when the app game that you're trying to use to promote, to promote, it... When the app looks better, then your video game for Bakugan Champions of Vestroya, that's saying a lot. And not only is it saying a lot, it says that you did not put time and effort within this game. I love Bakugan. It actually saved me from depression and everything of that nature. Hell, I'm even wanting to be a Bakugan pro eventually, and I'm and they're eyeing me to be an affiliate. So this is what I want to do. I found and and I was so looking forward to this being on different titles, but no, it's going to be a Switch exclusive.